Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm back inside of Planet Coaster, episode 2 of the indoor theme park. Now I'm so sorry there's been such a big gap between episode 1 and 2. I've been focusing mainly on Secret Neighbour with the new update that came out as well. But in today's episode we're going to be continuing on with the indoor theme park. We're going to be building an entrance plaza area and also kind of making a start to finishing the area where this coaster is going to be. In the end I decide on it being a Switzerland kind of theme so I'm gonna go with that rocky snow-capped mountains kind of feel and then we'll also be building the plaza like I just said which ends up having a nice fountain, a nice building with some shops in and some customer services. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this episode. There should be a secret neighbor stream coming up sometime this week as well but in this video obviously we're doing Planet Coaster and we're going to be continuing on with the series. So right now I'm starting work on the paths going around the plaza. This will kind of branch off so you can go around the park whichever way you want. Now as you can see the building of this indoor theme park doesn't look anywhere near as big as it should be or as big as it needs to be to house as many rides as I want in this park. So throughout maybe episode five, I might extend it if I want to put a big coaster in or a big area. But for now, we're gonna be kind of going with a realistic size. So here I'm, I'm starting to put the building in and actually once I do this, I think it comes out a bit off grid. So I do readjust that later on in the video. Once I've done this building, I go on to add in a cheer swing ride that is directly in front of the plaza, so kind of the entrance point for the theme park. And then after that, I add some rocks and I start work on the station building. So once I complete the main bit of the plaza here and start adding in the finer details, we can move on to the station building. So I'll let you guys watch that over the next few minutes and I'll be back on the voice recording on the voiceover once I have completed the, the main bearings for this entrance plaza.
Okay then, so over the past few minutes I've kind of completed the entrance plaza. I'm going to put some more scenery around that uh, later. But now I'm starting to add in the chair swing that I was on about earlier. This ends up going at kind of a vocal point. It's not completely centre, but you will definitely see it if you if you were in real life coming into the park. So it's kind of going to be the, the entrance bit. So I, I, I add an entrance and exit to this and put the queue round add some rocks and then I do start work on the station. The station of the launch coaster ends up being slightly Swiss themed but I couldn't really find the pieces to correctly go with it so so sorry if it does end up looking a bit scruffy but as long as the station building is done then the coaster, the actual coaster is kind of finished then so in the next episode that means I can do the theming around it. In terms of the theming outside, I will put some trees and stuff to kind of corner it off because it is really flat out there, so I'll put some terraforming in as well. But apart from that, there's not really much I want to go outside. I don't really want any big scenery items because you wouldn't really see them that much if you were on the actual coaster. And there's, there's no viewing points outside either, so no one would really get the benefit of it if it was in real life. So trees, terraforming, that'll be in the next episode. But for this episode, I'm focusing on getting this inside bit, getting a rough idea of how I want it to go. So just looping around the queue here, it was quite hard. I, I had to use the really thin queue to actually get this to work because if it was really wide, there wouldn't be enough room to have to hold the capacity of guests. So I had to have that quite thin and then it joins onto the path there, kind of at a nice angle. So when you come in and see the fountain, right behind it you'll have the chair swing, which will be going round as you come in. And then as you turn to the left, you have the big launch coaster, where there'll be kind of a viewing platform on the path that goes past the chair swing there. So once I've completed this chair swing, I start to add some rocks around the kind of around the entrance area. It's not around the whole ride, but it's around the entrance area. And then next episode are the sign, an entrance sign, and maybe a few finer details like lights, bins, benches, more stuff to kind of make it look more like a closed off area. Because we don't want everything being open. We want it to be kind of closed in. So if you're in one area, you can't see directly through to the next one. So once I put these rocks in, at the heights and angles that I want it, that I want them to, I move on to the terraforming now in front of the station, because I want it to at least look separate to the path. So I put some water in once I figure out how to terraform that properly, and then I move on to creating the station building. So now what's going to happen here is the path is going to branch out onto the left, and that is literally just going to be leading to the entrance of the coaster nowhere else so so that path is purely going to be for guests who do want to ride that ride there'll be some benches down there so if they do want to sit down but the majority of guest flow that's going to be going through there will just be for the launch coaster so as you can see just now i have kind of painted the t the terrain because we don't want it to be all grass and then we don't want it to be all rocks either so the separate areas will have different will have different uh, landscape formats and this is the bit that really that was really hard kind of building the station now you can see me using these bavarian pieces here it doesn't really the final result doesn't really turn out as good as i wanted it to be but it's not bad I just wish it could look a little bit more polished, but at least I've got the like bottom and top section bits right, uh, so the, the lower section of the wall and then the upper section, and then I put in the the bits that go under the station so the station isn't viewable from like the ground, so you can't see up into the station. So I use those pieces there, and then I use the two meter ones I think it is, which is obviously half of the four meter walls that I used because the Bavarian set of buildings does not have many options at all. It literally has the walls and the windows and some doors I think and some window shutters 
but apart from that there's no there's no roofs there's no gable walls there's no triangular walls that will fit under roofs so the Bavarian set is quite limited when it comes to that so once I complete this station building or kind of half complete it I put the entrance and exit in for the ride change the station round a bit because it needed to be a bit more organised uh, I didn't want entrance and exit on one side I wanted them on separate and then I put the queue in and then finish off the building and that kind of brings us to the end of the episode then just the, after I've put in the exit and the exit path that is kind of the end of the video so I'll let you guys watch me try and figure out what's going on with the queue here because at this point I find it really really hard to get the queue how I want it to be because for some reason it was obstructed by the track above even though in real life that would be fine you could literally just walk under that and not get hurt but the game was not letting me do it so I'll let you guys figure out and watch how I do that and then once I come back that'll be the end of the video where I'm putting in the exit for the ride and ending the video So thank you guys for watching, this episode has been really good, I've had a chance to complete the station building as you can see for the launched coaster. Now I'm just connecting the exit to the path and then we'll do a lot of theming around here in the next episode and we're going to be putting some buildings in behind the launch. So thank you a lot for watching this episode, uh, a secret neighbour stream should be coming out sometime this week or start of next week but the next planet coaster video will be finishing off this area finishing off the entrance plaza adding some more bits to it that will make it feel more finished and then i can move on to the next area which i'm not I, I i haven't decided on what i want it to be themed on yet but all of that will come in episode three of the planet coaster series so thank you guys for watching Here's some shots of just what's going on around the area. We've got some staff quitting their shops because obviously, you know, that's great. So we're going to be putting some facilities in, like staff rooms as well. So thanks guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and like the video if you want to see more content like this. And you can also stay tuned 
for the next Planet Coaster video and Secret Neighbor content. So that's it from me guys, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.